doing uh, Leona. Uh, one spirit, would you link me to the soul cycle of Leo? Ten of Cups, Temperance, King James, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Just this moment. Working hard at your craft and just this moment. That could be very important. I'm an energy too. Uh, Leo. What do we got in the heart of the situation? Slow moving night. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, reliable but slow. Uh, Lewis, that's where he's going. He always gets the job done. Uh, and he's trustworthy. This is a hard thing to find these days. <laughs> We've gotten a uh, challenge position. Mm, the sun, so yeah, this is your energy, Leo. Uh, you could be shedding light on something. Yeah, happy sun zone. Uh, this is like your time of year, too, so. This would be really, really brighten things up. Hmm. And timing, I think timing's on your side here too, because you see how these guys are just escaping there, the right time when the sun's coming out, because I don't think these things can follow them in the sun. They, they don't look like they're, uh, they, uh, they do too good in the sun. Uh, we got in uh, subconsciously the way you think at the bottom of the deck we got uh, perfecting your uh, craft or whatever you you do for work uh, subconsciously you're thinking about oh, a queen of cups and a nine of pentacles so luxurious living with uh, possibly a water sign somebody who's a good listener uh, inner feels uh, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this is just shy of the Ten of Pentacles. This is like, like look, comfortable living, not having to worry where your next paycheck is coming from. Uh, that's what you're thinking of subconsciously. So. And in the past, how the fuck do we get here, Leo? Let's see. Okay. Knight of Swords, so rushing and doing something quick, big, brave. And possibly a Queen of Pentacles is doing this. Or, oh, yeah, it's, it's almost like Earth, Air, Earth, Air. Throughout this read, you could be dealing with a hardcore hermit or somebody who's half Earth, half Air. Uh, yeah, this is somebody uh, rushing in and doing something. Either brave or foolish, right? But sometimes it gets results, right? Um, like a smash and grab type uh, thing guy here. But this is uh, Queen of Pentacles, so somebody who enjoys the great outdoors. Uh, um, what do you call it? She can nurture. She uh, likes um, um, drinking wine in the backyard, gardening, shit. Uh, presently, we've got for Leo. Presently for Leo Holy Spirit. President and a student. So somebody could be studying, being a prison guard, maybe? <laughs> or could be uh, studying, maybe working in a correctional facility. I don't know if you have to study for that. Or you could just have some creepy guy trying to set some student up. Uh, Again, we got earth and air, earth and air. See, earth and air, earth and air. So I'm taking it to whoever this read could be about uh, earth and air. Or you have a lot of earth and air in your chart because you're a fire sign, right? Yeah. Mm. You could be, uh, or this could be somebody, you know, this, uh, somebody who's a student. Maybe, um, 
feel imprisoned in some. It does not have to be physical imprisonment. It could be mental imprisonment too, right? It could be. Uh, uh, this is usually the student or somebody learning something, like some kind of new craft or some kind of. Yeah. So that's presently what's going on. Uh, wrist and air, wrist and air. Let's see what we got. Let's quick. A reverse. Page of Swords. Okay, so this is like a creepy kind of spying. This is like not just doing tarot kind of spying. This is like some creepy guy hiding in the bushes like with a fucking jar of lube or some shit like that. It's not the kind of... It's not it went reverse like that. It's not... That would be something I'd worry about actually. Like, this could even be somebody having like a camera in your house or some shit like that. Or uh, just somebody creepy like being an ex or something that's like maybe a little bit of a weirdo. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is perfecting whatever it is you're working on. The way you're influencing this situation there, Leo, is these two. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody who's hiding something or holding on to something really tight. Uh, faith, hope, and healing. Uh, yeah, this could be somebody holding on to something tight. Like, maybe, I don't know, a bit of a hoarder, or like a, hmm. Maybe he's got these held, held on, it could be knowledge too, though, because it's a book, right? So, maybe he took this to the grave, whatever it was, that maybe he knew something. Uh, okay, so yeah, it could be dealing with an Aquarius too, or influencing an Aquarius. Hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Passionate uh, decision. This is like planning for the future. This is, uh, yeah. Passionately planning for the future, though. Something you're passionate about because it's wands, right? Uh, looks like he's going over a map or something, too. Uh, the lens you're looking through. Leo, the lens you're looking to for Leo, Holy Spirit. The lens you're looking to. Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Could be, uh, this is Archangel Michael easy too. This one always reminds me of, like, uh, you know that soup they give out at the... Uh, I don't know, like the homeless shelter. This guy looks like he's tweaking out or whatever. You know, you get one of those guys in front of you in line, they're just like, <laughs> that, like, I don't know, see how his neck's like moving like that? Could be somewhere like that. And this guy's right on his knees trying to get the soup there, so. Must be like fucking vodka in the soup or something, I don't know. Whatever this is. Maybe it's poison Kool Aid. Maybe they're all going to the big starship in the sky or whatever. You never know. Right? Help or skeleton or that shit. Huh. Huh. And in the environment, we got oh, three of wands. So, waiting for something. This is waiting for something. I'm going to clarify that one right now. Actually. What uh, is Leo waiting for? Whoever this is waiting for. Nine of Swords, this is insanity, waiting to go insanity, uh, an Empress, so, hmm, Empress can embody all four queens in a deck, so she's pretty rounded, maybe waiting for on an Empress, maybe, maybe, uh, somebody's going crazy here, though, because this is like Nine of Swords, it's like being in your head, replaying the same thing over and over again, like, uh, yeah, you gotta take control of your temple and Uncle Phil, whatever the fuck that is, over on the front steps there. Because, uh, yeah, if you keep if you stay in this mode, it'll drive you nuts, right? This eventually leads to insanity if you stay in your, in your head like that. Nine of Swords energy. You got an Empress. You could be this Empress too, I'm thinking, but, uh, actually, I don't know. It, it, maybe this Empress is maybe losing her marbles a bit. I don't know why. We'll clarify that though. Maybe. Okay, that was clarifying. Waiting for maybe because she's waiting for something. This Empress is waiting for something, and that's what's driving her nuts. Maybe she's been waiting for a long time. Maybe she's not the one. 
patient person, right? <coughs> that's two threes, too, because the empress is three, so that's 33 is the master number. Nine of swords, that's nine, that's 33, 12, 15, which is the devil. 15 adds up to the devil, so. And we got any outcome here. Uh, so yeah, it could be uh, somebody doing something dark. To, oh, and here's the emperor and the outcome, so. We got a power couple then. Because you get the emperor and the empress right here. Uh, yeah, the emperor. What else you got in the uh, outcome, Holy Spirit? High Priestess. Okay, so this is someone who's highly intuitive. This Emperor could be highly intuitive. Very, if, if this is pertaining to him, or this could be a totally separate person, right? But yeah, the High Priestesses and the Hermit are the two most intuitive people in the whole deck, so. Mm. We'll see. I'm going to get two more. I just want to see who that belongs to. Maybe two more boys. Oh, okay. Okay, so somebody might be embarking on a fool's journey, uh, taking a leap of faith. Um, this empress is like spazzing out, waiting for something. I don't know what that is yet. We'll clarify that. But uh, this could be Aries energy too, and heavy Aries because the emperor is Aries energy too. So, so far we got Aries, uh, Virgo. Uh, Leo, because uh, Knight of Pentacles is Leo too, right? Mm, Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, um, and Aries. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is perfecting your craft, whatever that is. Oh, and a really creepy spy, whoever this is, this reverse page of swords is like, this, this way is like just doing tarot or like normal spying or whatever, but like this way is like, some creepy guy with a swing and a bottle of lube hanging from your tree watching you come out of the shower. Like some creepy shit like that. So I'd be careful about that. Okay, always better. Give me this whole cycle of uh, Leo. Another high priestess, so somebody here is highly intuitive. This is uh, another five of swords. This is like somebody trying to win at all costs. Uh, cruelty, not only win at all costs, but humiliate somebody. This is somebody who wants to really hurt somebody. So this is just pre-shuffle. Could be this empress, actually, because she seems to be losing her shit, waiting for whatever it is she's waiting for. I don't know. The crack dealer hit a train or something. <laughs> he's, he's really losing her head over whatever she's waiting for in here. Uh, six of Cups is like no, nostril gel, like some, something from the past. And, uh, yeah, something from the past. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify this uh, Knight of Pentacles. What do you want to tell us about this? Knight of Pentacles in the heart of the matter. Oh, that one? Okay. King of Swords, okay, so yeah, this guy could be Dr. Death's protege there. The one who, uh, <laughs> mm. King of Swords, yeah, that's like a judge. Like, that's like a, a judge judge. Like, it could even sometimes pertain to, like, uh, the big guy in the sky, right? Uh, I don't know that yet, though, I'll clarify that, but it could be just a judge, like a judicial judge, right? Uh, okay, challenge is uh, the sun, that's your energy, Leo, so challenge is to maybe shed some light on some things and uh, just stay in your energy, stay happy. Okay, that's cool. Three, so you could be celebrating closing out a cycle and celebrating, that's why you're probably happy in the challenge there, so maybe the challenge is to just have a good time, right? Subconsciously, who's this queen of, uh, yeah, this queen of uh, cups who seems to be kind of a sugar mama because she's got like uh, nine pentacles, right? So, let's see here. Okay, we got 
two of cups. So this is somebody who, uh, this is a union, like some kind of union. This could be somebody you're coming into a union with. Or, oh, but you got to make a decision. That's two, two. Whoa, three twos all in a row, man. That's fucking weird, man. Three twos in a row. So this is like two, two, two. This is like, uh, this one's a union. Like, could be business or pleasure or life, whatever. This one means like you're at a stalemate. You have to make a decision about this. You can only pick one. So you gotta take one of these swords and cut the other one out. And this one's making a passionate decision. So all three twos like that can mean like... Twos is like making choices. So this is a choice you have to make on. Three all together. Two is three times. Two is six. So six. Nine. That's eleven. Six and nine is eleven. Eleven is justice, so... Mm. Which hasn't come out yet. But two, two, two. That might mean something to you. Uh, two, two, two. Could be a phone, start of a phone number or somebody lives in chat's corner. It could be. <laughs> I don't know. Here it is anyway. Uh, two, two, two. Yeah. That might mean something to you. Uh, in the environment, you've got a uh, Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. That could be hardcore or hermit energy. What do you want to tell us about this one? Holy Spirit. Oh. Strength. Okay, this is feminine strength. This is like knowing how when to use your strength and just using enough, not overkilling, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like, uh, what do they call it? Finesse. Like, uh, yeah, like uh, control. It can also mean angels too because in the Right away, there's usually an angel holding the lion's mouth shut, right? Um, in the present moment, you got imprisonment and um, students. So, student can be studying. Someone can be studying, like how to work, something to do with the correctional system, or it could be a student literally going to prison, or it could be a student just in their head, like mental imprisonment. I don't know, like this creepy guy though, with putting this woman in a jar here. It could be like like some creep, like weirdo, like I don't know, like stuff, like a controlling person, possibly like this emperor, like an emperor is a controlling person, but not like in a creepy way like this. I don't think, or he, well, it could be, I guess, but. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting that from you, so I don't think we're on there. What's with this creepy spying in the future here with this, uh, I don't know, some weirdo spying in a real creepy way? This is a king of cups, so, so this is uh, somebody who's apparently mastered a feeling king of cups upright, so this could be this queen of cups too, only in masculine energy, because uh, sex is fluent in uh, tarot, right, so... This could be just because uh, we already have the Queen of Cups out here. The only other card it could be would be the Page of Cups or the, um, this could be a Queen of Cups in her masculine energy who is spying on you. <laughs> like in a creepy kind of way. I'm just putting that out there. Like literally that's like when surfers like that, it's a creepy way. It's not like they're like, oh, checking you out on Facebook or whatever. It's like they're like hiding in your closet with their in a tree across the street with binoculars or some shit like that, right? <laughs> or it could be like even maybe make, using a phone profile like online or some shit like that. Uh, is this Aquarius in the way you're going to this? Holy Spirit for the Leo. Uh, okay. That's seven of Swords is cheating, lying, and stealing. A queen of wands, so a fire queen, or could be cheating, lying, and stealing. And a ten of swords, okay, so it's not, she, she's cheating, lying, and stealing, and she wants to betray somebody and put ten swords in their back. This is like a overkill, this is like basically uh, yeah. and shit, eh? Yeah, she's not fucking around, whoever this is, she's, uh, she's cheating, lying, and stealing, and betrayal. So this would be somebody that you maybe trust, or you're... you're you never, you wouldn't suspect of doing this, but.
Queen of Wands can be really like uh, outside the box thinkers too. Like they're they're kind of like uh, anything can really happen with them, right? Any given time. Uh, they're usually pretty popular and they're usually pretty good looking, and they are usually by the haters because they're popular and good looking, right? <coughs> <coughs> so that's in uh, that could be Aquarius too. Queen of Wands though, so. What's this? What is the planning for in the future here? With the uh, oopsie pears. Oh, man. We're planning on a new love offer. Planning for the future, passionate decision, and giving and receiving. <coughs> so maybe you might be taking a loan or something. <coughs> this Sagittarius and the, long, the lens you're looking to. Let me clarify this. Oh, this is going to lead to Ten Pentacles. Whatever this is to say here. But also it's going to lead to loss and sadness, like uh, emotionally. So, you might get money, but you might uh, also... This could be you now that I think about this. Cheating, lying, and stealing in the... Uh, because you're a fire sign, Leo. So this is most likely you right here who's going to be the one cheating and lying and stealing and the train, whoever this is, but it leads to ten pentacles. Because if you're the lens you're looking through right now, lens leads to ten pentacles, but also leads to this loss and sadness. So maybe you're do you could train somebody, and maybe you're gonna wish you didn't after. You know what I'm saying? Because if like ten pentacles doesn't make anybody usually sad, right? But maybe like uh, I don't know, maybe think things through a little better. Cause, uh, or maybe, I don't know, what's up with you? Oh, you know your situation, right? So, what do I need to do? Um, the environment. Got, let's see. What do you got me, man? The Knave of Cups. So, this is like being in your imagination. Uh, this Empress is in their imagination. You could be this Empress, too. Because if you're the Queen of Wands... The um, Empress can have bought you all four queens in the deck, right? So you could be losing your mind a little bit thinking about this. Maybe you haven't done it yet, this cheating, lying, and stealing, but you could be going a little nuts thinking about it, waiting for it, the opportunity. And you're in your imagination a bit too. And this adds up three, three, and nine adds up to 15, which is the devil. So he could maybe have a big red, could maybe be fucking with your head a bit there too. Uh, the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Fool. It's three major arcana in a row, right? And the outcome, so. Somebody who's highly intuitive, who's, like, very, has a lot of control at his fingertips, because the Emperor's, like, embodies all four kings in the deck, right? He'd be, like, somebody like Donald Trump or something, you know what I mean? Like, when the Emperor takes control of his environment, like, Syria could get invaded, right? So... It's quite a, and he's highly intuitive, so which is kind of like rare because that's usually a feminine trait, right? But you got uh, the fool embarking on a new journey, too. So, what's this new journey? This emperor is embarking on it. Let's see. Six of one, so victory. <laughs> he's embarking on victory. Okay, well, there you go. Victory in what? What is he embarking on? Victory. What is he getting victory? Cheating, lying, and stealing? He could be a compost, right? I don't think an emperor would have to cheat, lying, and steal. The moon, okay, see, it's, it's, something's hidden about this. This could be like Cancerian or Piscean energy, too, but the moon means something's hidden. What's hidden about this? Okay, creating conflict. Whatever he's doing, he's creating a lot of conflict, isn't it? Uh, he's creating conflict between. Let's see here. Oh. Your wish will be granted, whatever it is, Neil. It says here. And a loss of a fortune. Okay, so he is in on this cheating line and stealing. Whatever this is, because it says he's. Uh, 
is uh, yeah, this is a loss of a fortune and like a loss of a lot of money, and your wish will be granted. So I'm thinking you're you and this emperor, you're this empress, and you guys are pulling some kind of a score or some shit like that. And I'm not getting off this. That's the f energy I'm feeling. And you're trying to perfect it as the underlying energy of the whole read, so you can maybe like going a little batty going through this over and over again because that's the underlying energy of the whole read it's like perfecting something right so you're trying to perfect how you're going to do this uh, now I'll pull one on that and it looks pretty good uh, and so you've got somebody spying in the future there so I'm thinking that could be a police officer after you do this if you're doing it uh, nine of wands is uh, burdens, but like that lead to strength, like masculine strength. But, so this could lead to burdens, but you're gonna. What's the outcome of this whole thing if they, if uh, Leo goes through with this whole thing? We'll see what comes. Most likely, oh. reverse seven of cups. So coming out of illusion. So that's a good thing. So if you do pull this off, you'll come out of illusions. But you're in illusions right now. The Empress definitely is, which could be you. That's what I'm thinking. The Emperor doesn't look like he is. He's like cool as a cucumber because he's highly intuitive here. And ready to embark on a new journey. So, hmm. What kind of illusions do, does uh, do Leo have around him right now? This one. Naval one. Adventure, adventure. Okay, so you want an adventure. That makes sense. You're a fire sign, so you're passionate. You, uh, this usually means good news too, actually. So yeah, I'd say whatever. Go. <laughs> don't give me shit if you wind up in the clink, but like uh, whatever this is, I don't know. I'd go through it if it, it seems uh, promising. It might not be that. But obviously, you thought it over a little long enough. Huh. You have a good one there. Thank <laughs> you.